First John three seventeen through eighteen, but whoso hath this world's good and seeth his brother have need and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Sometimes we as Christians may encounter a person in an emergency, and that person may need help. In the situation described here. The believer is personally present to visibly see the need and minister to that need in that very moment. Luke ten thirty through thirty seven, and Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him, and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn. And took care of him, and on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, Go and do thou likewise. In a situation where we are present and the need is clear and obvious, and we can see it, and have the ability to help, we should do what we can. Helping in such a situation puts Christian love into action. This action proves both our love and our faith are real and living. This is also obedience to Jesus' call to love our neighbor. Sometimes such needs may be money, but sometimes it is something else entirely. God may lead you to give someone a meal, a drink of water, a coat, a blanket, or even a piece of furniture that you were going to sell in a garage sale, but you happened to find someone who needed it more than you needed the money. You may be surprised what God may lead you to give, and how happy you will be when you see that thing is going to help someone who needs it. Sometimes what someone needs most may be a smile, a word of encouragement, a shoulder to cry on, a listening ear, a person to pray with and for him or her, or even a hug. In some situations, a little compassion can go a long way, and it may not cost you anything more than a moment of your time. The greatest gift you can give anyone is the gospel message. Because by sharing the gospel, you share Jesus and the gift of salvation through Him. You may be amazed at the joy you find doing the simple little things God leads you to do, especially if it means you get to see someone come to Jesus through your testimony to them. All these things are ways God expresses His love through His people. Jesus gave us the greatest expression of God's love. When he gave his life to save us from our sins, and that love is for you and me, he also wants to use us to express his love for others and lead them to faith in him. However, he can only express his love through you if you have accepted his love for you into your own life. That starts with repentance of sin, turning away from it, and turning to Jesus for forgiveness and salvation. That starts with a simple little prayer, like this: Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again the third day. I repent of my sins, so please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart, and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of His will, so you can live out His holiness in your life. 
If you have ever wished you could read the story of Jesus' life from all four Gospels chronologically, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May God's love be given through you.